Hi, I'm Vivica Janot. I'm a mezzo-soprano singing mostly coloratura repertoire in the Baroque period, but also some bel canto. I started studying voice when I was 13 because I wanted to have the lead role in My Fair Lady in a music camp up in Fairbanks where I was born and raised. And I started out first with piano and violin and those were always things that remained really foreign to my body. So the singing was always something that I enjoyed participating in physically. It was all about, all this teaching always my whole life was, no, it's not right that way, do it this way. And my, my tunnel of correct just got smaller and smaller and tenser and tenser and uh, really tight until I really could hardly phonate. I mean, I would open my mouth and I didn't know if a, a note was going to come out. It was really scary. And uh, so what you do when you finally reach rock bottom is you look for solutions. Find solutions. Find people that will answer your questions, develop questions. I don't understand why we singers have to be so special that we don't have to practice slowly. Because every other musician in the world, and every other ballerina, every other person who does something exceptional and precise and that's a built technique, they do things slowly. Pianists don't just start off playing a piano concerto. They start. And it's it blows my mind how people, singers, think that they don't have to do that kind of work. We do, and it's, it's the musician part of what we do. Um, for me, at this stage of my career, I'm used to singing Vivaldi, I'm used to singing Handel. Each of these composers has their own language. What we do, and what I like adopting as an instrumental practice, is singing through slowly, taking breaths whenever you need to. And a faster than <laughs> one of the things that I love about the Baroque music is it's easier, I think, to find your your voice in this music because there's much more malleability, more flexibility. These pieces are so sparsely written. For me, it's to find what you like to do, what you have to say in the music. But my thing would be all music should be that couture. It should be made for your hand, for your voice, for your brain, for your personality. And like I say, I still maintain on purpose some of my tension issues because it's the way I like to sing. It's the way I like, it's the sound that I want to make. If it's an ugly sound, sometimes I want to make that offensive sound. It's, it's what my heart wants to do and what my gut wants to do. The more individual you are, the more conflict you're going to cause. So dare to make those choices and to accept the responsibility that those choices incur. Always listen to other people's advice but you be the person who chooses who you want to be musically and personally. And then when you're on stage, just go for it. Have fun, live it, be in the moment, and, and let the people come into that world that you're living in. It's the best thing in the world.